I'm Bernie Dobson and I'm head teacher of Tween Dykes Special School. Tween Dykes caters for children and young people aged 3 to 19 with severe learning difficulties and other disabilities including autism. Um, three years ago we moved into this fabulous new building co-located with Winford Holby School as part of the Building Schools for the Future project. Well, since we've moved to the new building it's, it's really taken off. We're able to allow a, a range of activities to take place that couldn't happen before. So we have specialist disability groups that come in at weekends after school time during the summer to run play schemes for children with disabilities. And we've also extended our, our family's use of the building for things like specialist hydrotherapy sessions or family parties, as well as wider community use like sports groups using our gym in evenings. The closest work that we do is around our family learning days. So we work with Winifred Holtby and other primary schools to open the school up in the holidays for all families. And it's a, an inclusive event with a theme um, that a group of children and their parents get together and, you know, um, spend time making things, just having fun together and using the range of facilities to do that. I think the most successful from the special schools point of view is the fact we can enable a local disability groups to come in and access fantastic facilities. Um, so we have um, sports clubs that run in evenings and at weekends, specialist swimming, teaching and lessons that are delivered out of school hours. And, and those groups can come to this building knowing that it's safe for children with disabilities, that they know the provision is going to meet their need. When we planned the project, um, we very much did it in partnership with the secondary school. So we looked to, to plan the building in a way that would work for the community. We, we had a vision that we just didn't want it to be a school building, we wanted it to be a community resource. So a good example of that is how we planned putting the large swimming pool of the secondary school sitting back to back with the hydrotherapy pool, which enabled our families to come in as whole families and maybe mum might take um, one child in the large pool and the disabled youngster in the hydrotherapy pool. And we were very mindful of trying to create um, a family and a community resource. So key advice is joint planning with you, whoever you're going to share the building with. A second piece of advice is make sure you have a key person in school who has regular meetings with the, the, the facility management group who, who plan and, and run the community facilities so that you, you coordinate events together.